Teamwork is a fundamental part of life and working together, especially in view of the type of work and situations faced by security officers. We must recognise the importance of working as a team. Good cooperation is vital to our services. So whether it's our day-to-day -day customer service, handling an incident, or especially during an emergency, our effectively working together will have a real effect on the outcome. Imagine a football team where each player does their own thing. Are they likely to win or lose? They're sure to lose. But when we work together, then we can be successful and really make a difference. And trust me, you're going to enjoy your job more and be happier. So, what do we have to do? We're all on the same team. But just like a sports team as a captain and a coach, we need to respect senior officers who have been entrusted with serious responsibilities. This is especially important, for example, when receiving instructions during an emergency, being requested to respond to an incident or other situations. Or maybe, for example, to accommodate a specific client need. I mean collecting and storing security records. These are ways that we can cooperate with senior management. We also need to cooperate with fellow officers. We should always treat each other fairly and never discriminate against anyone due to nationality, gender or religion. Discrimination is unacceptable. Examples of good cooperation include reading and signing the handover logbook, checking for any new messages or specific instructions and sharing information with each other. It's realistic. We can't do everything ourselves. We need help sometimes. And so we also need to respond quickly to requests for help from our fellow officers. We also show a personal interest in the safety and welfare of others. But how else can we be good team players? Well, a good team player is on time for a shift handover, and he keeps a neat and tidy work area. These are all ways we can cooperate with fellow officers. Like players in a football match, we're all working together to help the customer and look after people and property. We'll get a lot more done, we'll do better work, and we'll be happier if we help out and work together. According to the 2016 census, in Sydney, more than a third of homes speak languages other than English. About a third of us are born overseas. These are your friends, co-workers and customers. How can diversity, though, help your team to succeed? Well, think, for example, how age often brings experience, stability, reliability, and cultural mixes can give us fresh ways of thinking. Everyone has different strengths, so diversity makes a team well-rounded and more likely to be strong in all areas. But, you know, realistically, we know that difficulties will come up between fellow workers because of work or personal situations. To deal with these matters fairly, your company has put in place procedures for dealing with problems, including personal access to your supervisors and managers. So if you experience difficulties, then try to peacefully resolve the matter between each other. If you can't resolve it after reasonable effort, then discuss the problem with your supervisor. If they can't resolve it, then they'll ask a manager or HR staff to assist. Remember to always refer to your company's grievance procedures, which means we can get help with difficult workplace situations, including help with bullying and harassment, violence or discrimination. Here's a bonus point that I teach to management. What's happening in the picture? Teacher says, you're a lousy student, that's why you can't get it. She says, well, you're an ugly teacher, that's why I don't learn anything. No, that's not happening. What are they doing? They're focused on the problem, not each other. Now, some say this is different to many politicians at election time. People say they need to focus on the problems of the country and not each other. We can apply it at home too. 
It's your turn to do the dishes. No, it's your turn. My mother told me I should never have married you. What's your mother got to do with it? The problem is doing the housework. Well, it's the same on the job. Focus on improving situations, not attacking other people. Focus on the problem, not the person. You'll be happier and you'll accomplish more. So, what do you need to do? Work and cooperate with the bosses, that is the senior officers and your fellow officers. And please, try to resolve difficulties with others and we're ready to help if you need it. Don't forget to complete the short test below and as always, thanks for joining us. One last thing, we'd love to hear your thoughts, so send us an email to feedback at learningsphere.com.au.